is going on guys? We are at Orlando Speed World. We got Turzil out here, a redemption at 12s, hopefully not breaking anything. Ashley is down there getting her tire pressure set on the Whipple Coyote, and she's gonna be going for 10s, I'm gonna be going for some 12s in this thing. I went three 13-0s before, Ashley went a few 11s before. Uh, she's gonna be working on that 60 foot. Yes, Quinn, one day, one day. Okay. Okay. Sick. All right, guys, we're back. You've already gotten it. So we're back. You've already gotten an introduction on what we're doing um, today. We are rerunning the car and Terzilla. Um, I want to talk for just a minute about my time tonight and what my goal is obviously we all, all know my goal is to hit tens obviously we all know i sucked last time and that's okay <laughs> um it was just my first time and i know i have a lot to learn and i accept that um and i i really appreciate all the positive support that i got from it like i read like i read every single comment and i just I just really appreciated all the love that I was getting. I'm really happy. Um, when I ran the car before without the supercharger setup on it, I was getting really, really good launches for my NA setup. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I just ran a 12.3. Definitely the best time I've ever run in the car. So I know that I have it in me. I was really nervous because it was three passes and then you're done. So that had a factor. Um, I literally watched my runs over and over and over and over and over again until I memorized every single one of them, all of them. And I think I figured it out. I think I'm gonna get it. Um, I was focusing too much on the, I was focusing so much on the release of the clutch that it wasn't giving it enough gas. And I was just really nervous. So tonight we're gonna hit 10s, quest for 10s for my car, quest for 12s for Turdzilla. She's got it in her, they both do. So let's get started with it. Shout out to this guy at the track for literally letting everyone use his yeah, <laughs> tire <no>. pressure gauge. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, well, I'm gonna go 12s and you're gonna go 10s. Yep. What? I said 10 buddies. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Did we welcome Matt back? Uh, yeah. We did? I think so. Oh, no. No, we didn't. We didn't because we, we filmed another video, but then it was like way too boring. All we did was go to Starbucks, so. If you got, oh my God, we're gonna insert a clip here of Matt driving Turnzilla. drives Turzilla and he dances the whole time. Dude. Quinn got it on video finally. <laughs> he literally, give us an example of your dance moves. Um, well, uh, most of it is just, you know, left hand on the wheel, right hand doing whatever. And then just like. There we go. <laughs> and I'm listening to like, I don't know, Post Malone or something. <laughs> For like an hour. Yeah. I love driving Turnzilla. <laughs> just get in my zone, listen to music and just rock out, you know? can insert in this video is uh, the clip of me freaking out to Ashley and Andrew's neighbor's R8 that I saw the other day for the first time. So we'll put that in right here. <laughs> Matt, you gonna freak out? What do you mean? You gonna freak out? Matt's freaking out. About what? Matt's freaking out. Matt's freaking out? No. Am I? Am I? Dude, Matt's totally freaking out. Dude, no way. <laughs> Not gonna freak out? Oh! It's so, oh, it's so beautiful. Yep. Wow. He's freaking out. Wow. And it's a V10 version too. Wow. <laughs> I got bad to freak out. Do you want to tell the story of what just happened to me at the tech, at the tech thing? Oh, so we pulled up to the tech booth. Obviously I'm driving Turdzilla. Andrew was driving Ashley's car. Um, and we go up and I'm standing there with Andrew and Ashley. And the guy's like, all right, Andrew, yeah, yeah, your driver gives him a driver uh, driver wristband, then goes to Ashley, she's like, all right, your crew. Ashley's like, no, I'm, I'm not crew. And then 
he goes, no, you're crew. And then she goes, no, I'm really not. And then, and then I was like, no, she's really not. Like she's driving. And then he's like, oh. <laughs> no, he put a crew wristband. Oh, he forcefully put it on her wrist. Yeah. Forcefully. Like he just put his arms out and was like, no, you're taking this wristband. <laughs> I was like, I stood mind blown for a minute. So guess what just happened? For the first time ever, my car is in the fast people lane. Yeah, it makes sense. Who told you to do that? Uh, the guy that works here. Well, actually, technically, he told me to do it. Yeah. I was driving it, and then Ashley was like, "All right, I'll move my car." Yeah. Uh, but no, he said that because I have the setup on it in the back. Yeah. Yeah. One day I'll be a driver. Yeah. Yeah, the car just went out. How are you feeling, Quinn? Good. You ready to go? I am. I, I heard that you and Andrew were going to race the first run. Not the first run. Nah, first run out today? <laughs> Send it, man. What do you think you're going to run first thing, first time? 12-7. 12 12-7? I'm going to hold you to it. All right, good luck, man. Yeah! Turdzilla looking good as always. Alright, before we go any further in this video, I have to give you guys a public service announcement. Reaction time does not contribute to the final time in drag racing. So let's break this down. Reaction time is the measure at which uh, your car starts moving from when the light turns green. However, that is only important when you are racing the person next to you. When you are racing for a good time, you can sit at that light for as long as you want or as long as the track will tolerate you. So what that means is you could have a 12 second reaction time and still run a 10 second quarter mile. Now if this sounds like I'm breaking this down real real slow, you do not understand how many comments I have gotten that have said, Andrew, if you would have gone on green, you would have ran a 10 second quarter mile. And then the same thing with Ashley, if you would have gone on green, you would have ran a 10 second quarter mile. Andrew. If you would have gone on green and not sat at the light, you would have ran a 12 second quarter mile in Turdzilla. All right, so public service announcement. Reaction time at at least most quarter mile tracks in the United States, as far as I know, does not contribute to your final time. That is so important to stress and when you are trying to achieve a time in a car, do not race the person next to you. They don't matter. When you are trying to run a 10 second, 11 second, 12, 13, 14, when you are trying to run your best time, don't worry about the damn green light. Just go when you are ready. And that is something that I have told myself, I have told Ashley, I have told all my friends. They always worry about green. Green can really screw you up because you're sitting there watching your RPM, thinking about your clutch, thinking about your gas. Some people, if you don't have all of that locked in and you have not ran, your perfect run before you see that green light you're gonna dump the clutch hit the gas the car's gonna bog you're gonna break shit that's not what you want to do you want to take a deep breath what I like to tell everybody is don't worry about the green light let it turn green look at your RPM look at your hand on your shifter look back up look at your RPM take a deep breath think think about your clutch foot feel your clutch foot and then go you can do all of that stuff in about two seconds. It feels like 10 seconds at the line, but literally it's like two or three second reaction time. And that is what you need. If that's what you need to get your head in the game, do it. And hopefully I can help educate some people out there.
A 13.2 at 104. Just an absolute junk 60 foot junk run. I don't know why these tires aren't hooking. I wonder if they're just too old. Because I've never had an issue hooking these tires, even on the Cobra when I made 470 wheel. Really strange. Ashley was about to go, but then I guess the car in front of her hit the wall on the slowdown. Wasn't they just saying that you got to be careful, like slowing down at the end? Yeah. So. We got a parachute. Something about parachute. So yeah, we're gonna be doing for a few minutes here. So if you want to take your helmet off, you can. Obviously, we got to get the car off the racetrack down there. <laughs> <laughs> it has a uh, wind on its roof, so obviously that takes a little bit of time to get. That's right, get it nice and sticky. Nice and sticky. Prep. have a $20 bet on this race.
any sense. I don't know why all it does is spin. Thanks. lifestyle video with me in it if I wasn't totally freaking out so this is why I'm totally freaking out because my favorite car in the world is right here and it's about to go down the strip Unsuccessful day at the track. Um, those NT05Rs are not hooking in the turds uh, Super long lines of the track. Just not really a good night, but uh, you know. All right guys, so it is the next day. We have to go to O'Reilly's, pick up a two and five sixteenths ball for the hitch we got from Nick. Got to pick up the trailer from Anthony, and then we got to go all the way down to Orlando and somehow get the car on the trailer. Sounds like fun, guys, right? Sounds like fun. Yeah. Time, I can't we wait. got Lee here. Got Matt. My yep. last day, Matt's going to be in Florida. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Let's do it. All right. Trailer's hooked up. Once again, big shout out to Anthony. Now we got to head to Orlando. And, yeah. We're back. And there she is. How do we get in there? Do we get in from? Oh, over here. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's the Mercedes the one, that dude, I was talking about. Oh, I, I shouldn't have filmed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, back up. Oh, yeah, you can just take that off. All right, we're going to get the car pushed out. And we got the trailer over there. And we'll get it basically lined up. All right, car is loaded up to the trailer. And we are pretty much good to go. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's kick it. I love having a truck. I just need a trailer. It makes things so much easier. Alright, so we just made it back. We're gonna get her unloaded. And yeah. Alright, we got the car unloaded, pushed in. We'll assess what went wrong with that later. We got the truck and trailer. We're gonna drop the trailer off. And yeah, nice. All right guys, so I didn't really update you guys on exactly what happened with Ashley's car, so I'm gonna do it now. It's a few days later. So we have determined that the drive shaft was the point of failure on Ashley's car. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say. For all the people who are gonna say, why do you always break shit on cars? I, I feel like this is a reoccurring thing, but you know, I'm not, I, I get it that uh, you guys are, you know, a little frustrated, but the other thing is I like kind of showing you guys the story, showing you guys what it's gonna be like for your own cars, and so that you guys can learn from our mistakes. And remember this, uh, you know, we are a YouTube channel that are, that is providing entertainment uh, to you guys. So. 
but in a way breaking stuff is one a learning point for ourselves two a learning point for everyone else and three it gives you guys the story of basically how we build a car Ashley's for example from a bone stock brand new car into hopefully pretty soon a 10 second drag car that is driven by Ashley and then eventually a nine second drag car that is driven by Ashley. So we determined the drive shaft, it actually broke it right in the middle um, where it's that, that rubber piece. Um, very kind of common on these. Um, and you know, unfortunately, it is the reality of insane hook. You guys saw that that guy just prepped the crap out of the track, which is what you want. And the car just shocked and broke <laughs> um, so we are going to be replacing the drive shaft with the g-force drive shaft it is on the way uh, so as soon as we get that i'll probably just swap it here at home and the car will be good to go um, other than that i think we should be good to go um, for her to finally run some tens because as you guys can see you know everyone was saying why don't you just hit the gas and go well she did and she broke something and we, we kind of knew that was going to happen so it just, it's all part of the game, part of the fun, part of the story that we tell you guys. And so the Whipple 5.0 just kind of sits here, you know, waiting for some parts to come in. Um, but we will be matching the drive shaft up. G-Force is just a great company all around. So we're really excited to get that drive shaft in here. And yeah, so that's probably gonna wrap up the video. Now, I also have something really exciting for Turretzilla. Um, we have the battery out, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But we do have a new set of wheels on Turretzilla that I am going to tease you guys the slightest amount. Yep, yeah, that's 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 about it. Yep, we got new wheels for Turretzilla. I want you guys to get hyped for this because I'm looking at it right now and yeah. Now, I will have a full video on that coming soon. I have a lot of cool stuff coming out, and <laughs> you guys aren't ready for this. This this looks good. I'm so excited. You know, it, this car has come such a far away. So guys, if you really like this video, make sure you slap the like button down below. Leave a comment, let us know what you think. Um, if you're interested in anything that is on the cars, I do have build lists uh, on our website, um, as well as, you know, just a basic rundown. We just recently did the half shafts, G-Force half shafts and G-Force drive shaft on this car. And yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next video. You know, maybe I should just show you guys what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Oh, damn it, there's something on something on here I don't know why yeah they're, they're just coming out blacked out for me that's so weird I don't know why it, it just won't let me show you guys super weird you know something wrong with this this camera is this this working right